Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of the Weapons of Assassin's Creed series. I'm Esco Blades. In this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the sword of Vlad the Impaler. Vlad the Impaler, more commonly known in popular culture as Dracula, wielded a powerful personal combat sword which was depicted in Assassin's Creed Revelations. Capable of dispatching any foe, the sword was found in a hanging cell which was located within the infamous leader's prison. It was obtained after completing the memory, the Impaler's Tomb. The shape of the blade that is shown in the game appears to have more than one source. Now it's often depicted with an opulence that bordered on arrogant, and it bears the design and structure of a kilich, with a front edge weighted for optimal slicing and hacking power. The kilich was a type of sabre used by the Turks throughout history, beginning in the late Xiong Nu period, all the way to the Ottoman Empire, and later on with the Turkic Khanates of Central Asia. These blades evolved from the Turco-Mongol sabers that had been used all over the lands invaded and or influenced by the Turkic peoples. There is however another historical blade that bears more of a resemblance to Vlad's sword as it appears in Assassin's Creed Revelations, and that is the Falchion. The Falchion was a one-handed single-edged sword of European origin with a design reminiscent of the Persian scimitar. Unfortunately, there is no surviving historical evidence of the real sword of the Romanian ruler Vlad the Impaler. The sword was most likely claimed by an enemy after Vlad was assassinated in 1476, as was the common practice in Wallachia at the time. Swords used in the region at that point in history bore many influences from long swords, weapons that had a cruciform hilt with a grip for two-handed use and a straight double-edged blade of around 39 to 48 inches in length. The longsword was favoured during the late medieval and renaissance periods, with the earliest and latest use recorded stretching from the 13th to the 17th centuries. A few remaining statues of Vlad show him carrying a longsword-like weapon. Also, historical Romanian texts chronicle the forging of the swords, with the designs made to mimic those carried by the Templar Knights in collaboration with the Papal State. Vlad the Impaler's sword remains one of the most symbolic and powerful weapons presented in the Assassin's Creed franchise. When Ezio wielded the sword, enemy morale reduced by 15%, in a similar fashion to the Dagger of Brutus, which appeared in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. And this concludes our look at the sword of Vlad the Impaler within Assassin's Creed. As always, a big thank you to Dean Nuke and our Art of Swords blog, as well as Sixtini, comdev of the Assassin's Creed wiki, for their help, guidance and collaboration on this project. Additional source material comes from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. All relevant links are shown on the screen and in the video description. Thank you for watching, take care and bye for now.